Thank you for joining us today. We hope you're having a great Microsoft Ignite. Today, we're going to talk about enhancing M365 with Savient. My name is Chris Gregory, the Vice President of Channel Development and Operations for Savient. I first want to start out and take you on a little bit of a journey and tell you who Savient is. It's important you understand our vision and our platform. We'll talk a little bit about why Microsoft and Savient and then we'll close with why our customers succeed. Who we are. Savient came on the scene delivering the first cloud-born SaaS IGA offering delivered. We've been enhancing this platform over the years with application access governance, data access governance, third-party security analyzer and governance, incorporating our latest privilege access management, as well as now we're at the Enterprise Identity Cloud, which is what we'll cover today. But the important thing to note from this timeline is that Sabian is a single code base driven on a converged platform to produce results for our customers. So we help modern enterprises achieve their cloud initiatives, deal with some of the toughest security and compliance challenges in a very accelerated time. We are recognized by the major analyst organizations out there. From Gartner, where we achieved a 96 out of 100 scorecard, the highest out of all IGA vendors, to Forrester, who has done an economic impact study and showed that customers who adopted Savian have a 240% return on investment, and Coopinger Cole as well with award-winning customers. We have been awarded and recognized uh, across various organizations and publications for our ex cybersecurity excellence winner, InfoSec winner, and we're constantly innovating, and that's what fuels us. We are enterprise grade. This is a sample of some of our accounts, but we are there for the enterprise, and that's really where we help Microsoft is at the enterprise. We have a 98% percent customer retention rate, we are growing, and we are continuing to add global customers in the Fortune 2000 into our portfolio of customers. So we understand that business is challenging, and we understand that cybersecurity infrastructure technology teams face an incredible amount of challenges in work. First and foremost, after what we just came through as, as a country, as a globe, just support for this new modern workforce. People saw the need to get their workloads in the cloud, also be able to support a workforce that can access and perform their work functions from anywhere. And what that led to is just, you know, supporting that modern work campaign. That was a tremendous hill for IT operations to climb, especially people who were not already on that digital transformation journey. Now you also have identities beyond the human identity. You're starting to look at RPA bots, DevOps workloads, and machine identities. So the identity world has gone in advance from your traditional user from HR. It's projected into an authenticating directory such as AD or Azure Active Directory. Now it's the machine identities, the bots, the IOTs, and I think also we look at another challenge is just improving that third party experience, how we bring people in to perform functions, the people we work with, the people we rely on for services to perform their functions. And then the threat landscape and the regulatory requirements is ever changing, but it is something that's always out there, whether it's financial controls, whether it's IT controls, whether it's just separation of duties because it's a CISOs initiative, adjusting these requirements to an ever evolving threat landscape is a challenge that businesses go through. And a lot of companies have this digital first strategy. And I think a lot of them are there based on what we just came through. But let's also understand that breaches 
are catastrophic and breaches can occur in a lot of ways and they can be very costly, whether that's you failed your audit, it has a financial impact, malware, ransomware, your business could be disrupted and really shine a light on your inefficient processes that are managing how you bring identities in, how you provision, deprovision, how you remove someone's access as well as give them access and transition that access throughout. So failing to comply with data privacy regulations carries a hefty talk. The breach cost carries a cost. The average cost of disruption, again, these are all large numbers. Slow onboarding, not bringing these applications into the fold, not mitigating separation of duty violations and compliance really just increases the vulnerabilities that are out there. So at Savian, we've seen that enterprises need a new way. They need to manage human and silicon identities. They need to secure the critical hybrid business and infrastructure assets. And we'll get into that, what that looks like. They also want to automate. They want to get rid of the costly, inefficient identity management processes that are out there. And what Savian brings across all of these workloads and all of these critical systems is what does that access secure? Is it being used appropriately? And who has access to what? And again, that's the new way that we see and we've seen from our customers, they're wanting to incorporate the bots, the IOTs, the partners, the privilege sessions. They're wanting to access hybrid environments because they may have switched certain services to the cloud during the what we just came through in the pandemic. And some be in this hybrid world or in this multi-cloud world, this multi-tenancy world. So we view ourselves as the catalyst. Again, when we did our timeline, you see that we're a single converged platform. We were built in the cloud for the cloud. And that gives us an advantage that we are easy and fast to deploy. And with the analysts agreeing with us, we say that we're the best in class enterprise solution. When you talk about being built in trust and security, and when we build in trust and security, part of that comes with a flexible deployment model. You have a low uh, or zero on-premise footprint, depending on where you are in your transition to the cloud. But being a SaaS offering, you are in what's called an evergreen environment where you are always current, get the latest features and unlimited upgrades. Savian also has numerous uh, ISO, SOC, uh, audit reporting, all of these credentials for our platform to show that it is secure. We maintain that security and those reports are available to our customers. So when you talk about Savian, you look at the enterprise identity cloud and the premise behind this is any identity, any app, any cloud. And when you look across your critical hybrid assets, whether that's data elements, ERP, infrastructure, other SaaS providers, um, EHR systems, you have some critical pillars of Savient that can help you out from third-party access management to privilege access management to that core identity governance and administration. There's fine grain controls and separation of duties in GRC controls for application access governance. And last but not least, this data access governance. You notice that all of these pillars are built inside of the intelligent identity warehouse, which its sole purpose is to provide that visibility, governance, compliance, and security. And that is Savient's enterprise identity cloud delivered. So as we begin to take a look at what this hybrid environment looks like. And I think driving into this, you start to look at that data can live in between clouds across multiple tenancies. And we have the ability to add in the critical infrastructure assets, whether that is M365 on-premise, Active Directory, Azure, the DevOps scenarios. The other side of the coin is the application estate the critical business platforms that people need every day to go into, whether that be an ERP, an EMR, or a homegrown application, and you have the ability to bring them together. What is Savient going to provide you is this 360-degree view of the identity and security with actionable controls from that single pane of glass. That's going to look at the identity access, 
the fine-grained entitlements, the audit trails, the usage logs, surfacing the real-time events and configurations. Always striving to ask, answer the questions when they're asked of who has access to what, what does the asset secure, and most importantly, is it being used appropriately? So when we look at the Identity Governance Administration, you want to have the right people having the right level of access, improve the productivity within the user base with the friendly experience. We don't want managers to get fatigued. We don't want users to get request fatigue. So we increase this efficiency and we reduce this regulatory compliance overhead with the compliance as a service that Savian delivers. Application access governance is the continuous fine-grained controls with the separation of duties management built in and the persistent controls and monitoring. Savian's privilege access management is a cloud native platform, manage access privileges for any application. It is just in time, it is zero standing privilege and this eliminates your over permissioned accounts. You have the ability to identify these accounts, manage these accounts, and bring them into the fold with Savian's Cloud PAM. Third-party access governance, the ability to collaborate with partners, vendors, contractors, people that provide services to you, and also have the ability to mitigate the risk across that remote workforce. Manage the life cycle of these third-party organizations. Make sure that they're certified. Make sure that they have a sponsor. Make sure that there's no disconnects where a user leaves a managed place, but they still have an account inside of M365 or another SaaS-based application. Really what we're doing is we're consolidating the access visibility and control into that single platform, showing the last time an organization was certified, showing if an organization has a missing sponsor. Data access governance is really about treating data as an entitlement and stop that sensitive data from falling into the wrong hands. Gain visibility into where your sensitive data is. Put in the mitigating controls to handle the violations and define the policies to prevent data from walking out the door, whether it be in a Teams channel, whether it be wherever it may be, right? Understanding where that sensitive data lives, understanding who has access to it and certifying it. Last but not least is leveraging the intelligent identity warehouse where you have this 360 degree view where we're managing all these identities. We're bringing in contextual risk intelligence uh, and combining that with other security tools uh, such as Azure Active Directory's identity protection uh, and improve that threat detection and respond to incidents. So you're wanting to have compliance as a service deployed you're wanting to gain the benefits of having compliance as a service deployed. And, and most importantly, you're wanting to be in control of your environment 365 days a year, 24 seven. And that's what the Intelligent Identity Warehouse will give you. So when you look at why Savient and Microsoft, um, we work with identity engineering and security product teams to extend the Microsoft field sellers capabilities enterprise wide. This helps customers accelerate their transition to the cloud and keep a focal point on compliance. We're a strategic ISV for Microsoft. We have a transactable solution in Azure Marketplace, meaning that you with your Azure subscription can get credit for that Azure subscription with Savient being transactable in the marketplace. We're a preferred Azure security solution. We work with identity engineering as a managed partner. And we're also a member of the Microsoft Intelligence Security Association. When we look at what better governance looks like with Microsoft 365, and you start to look at the security initiatives on the left-hand side, whether this is zero trust, whether this is dynamic risk governance, uniform security and appliance, we want that lowest TCO from an operability delivering this identity as a service with a frictionless management process. And when we look at all the goodness that Azure Active Directory brings to the table, across all these workloads and how Savian enhances it um, from a privilege access or a deep identity governance and a guest access governance uh, point of view. Right? 
when you talk about zero trust and zero trust is about bringing the device as well as the identity integrity together, the organizational policies do real time evaluation. This organizational policy is sometimes referred to as traditional access as people begin to try to access data infrastructure apps and network. You see the visibility analytics and automation and that is exactly exactly what Savient does. We provide that visibility, that automation, that certification, surface that real-time risk um, that someone is requesting something that's out of band, uh, bubble that up. And with the, with the PAM integrations here, having it with zero standing privilege, just in time access, you have the ability to achieve a great zero trust posture. When we talk about Implementation agility, and this is one of the things that we get from the integration of working closely with our teams and our partner network. And what this gives us the ability to do is to achieve actual low code, no code, four to six weeks deployment uh, in a very accelerated way. So objectives can be achieved very fast and you can achieve your desired results. Customers win with Savient because we really rationalize the access workflows. We automate all that, eliminate all those manual processes. We can drive the efficient resource allocation, right? Taking that provisioning from 10 days to a day. And when you have compliance as a service, and you're delivering compliance as a service, you're really lowering the risk because now it's not an ad hoc report, it's not a scheduled report, it's an always on service that we're providing where you're gonna have a dashboard and you're gonna see that benefit when you start to look at things like the separation of duty analyzer and what the benefits brings to you for having a continuous compliance. And you know we see customers, and this is from the Forrester report, a 240% return on investment with a 90% reduction in application and identity onboarding and less than three months to pay back for the solution. And again, this is huge that the results are in and customers win with Savient. You'd be in great company with Savient. Um, these are, some, again, some of our top brands that have implemented Savient that have nothing but success with Savient. And then we wanted to throw in the Forrester piece on the total economic impact because this is a direct quote from a director of access management that bringing everything together in a single platform, making it easier to understand the context of risk, delivering that compliance as a service really led us onboard those applications and get everything where we needed it to be and driving that compliance as a service and giving that always on feel with actionable controls. And with that, we at Savient would like to thank you. We invite you to check out our other offering, uh, short video demos, which will be in the case. And please feel free to follow up with any questions.